Welcome back to Manga Time! Um, I'm Kaneko, here to tell you about all of the things that we got this week, because we actually got a ton of stuff, uh, which is really different from last week, which had zero, zero things came out last week. It's really sad. And then the week before that, we only had one thing, which was Bride of the Water God. Good manga, but you know, it was a lonesome by itself. So we have a lot of stuff to talk about, so let's just get right to it. We've got Chibi Vampire. Yeah, airmail. It's for older teen. If you like to be a vampire, there's a new book for you. Elemental Blade. This guy. It's inspired by the actual anime. It's one of those. It's number 12. It's one of those action mangas. So if you like your action, you know, get it up in here. You've got Future Diary, number 7. This guy has the most awesome hair ever. I love it. Yeah. And then we've got Happy Cafe, if you like cafes and comedy. This is number four in the series. And then we've also got um, Kokara Mao, which is, you know, it's mostly fantasy, but it's also, you know, super cute and super awesome. So it's number seven in the series. We've got um, a new manga. Most of these are Tokyo Pop, by the way. They, they finally got their stuff together, apparently and have decided to continue publishing uh, things that people want. You know, we've got Mad Chase. This came out a while ago. It's from uh, the creator of Wild Rock and Man's Best Friend, if you've read those mangas. Uh, it's, you know, kind of a fantasy comedy also kind of thing. There's a dragon, little, little sort of a dragon thing. It's got wings. If you like fantasy little creatures, there's one on the cover. We've got Portrait of M and N. Oh, again, Tokyo Pop. This is a romance. So you people who like your shoujo and your romance, you can pick up uh, number three. We've got one and two out already. Uh, we've got Ratman, which is uh, an action kind of you know older teen guys. It's got it's got that comedy in there. So get your laughs, get your action, get your fighting, get your girls in school uniforms is a, a major part of all things manga. Uh, Silver Diamond, number seven. Check it out, guys. It's a really pretty, you know, another one of those fantasies. Fantasy, you know, manga based guys. Um, so if you were, if you were looking out for Silver Diamond, Tokyo Pop finally gave you a new volume. Now that's all, that's all the Tokyo Pop books, which, you know, was, was quite a bit. But we've also got some new Dark Horse coming out. We know that Dark Horse likes to publish things of substance and interesting and, and all that kind of stuff. They, they're the ones that are publishing the Oh My Goddess. So if you like Oh My Goddess, who doesn't? Belle Dandy is adorable. The, this is, uh, what, number 15 of the, you know, Oh My Goddess RTL that's, that's been coming out. So, Oh My Goddess from Dark Horse. Two more Dark Horse books. Uh, one which is new, one which is the third part, volume 15, of the Vampire Hunter D novel series. It's got the uh, Yoshitaka Mana art, which I love, and if you've ever seen a Final Fantasy game, you've seen his art too. So if you like D, who doesn't? He's an awesome vampire. If you like vampires and, you know, bad assery, D will fill both of those things. So, I'm a giant D fan. He's awesome. He will, you know, mess you up pretty good if he has reason to. But, you know, he's a vampire. That kind of comes with the territory, I guess. We've got a new Neon Genesis Evangelion series. And not one that you would assume would be horrible. Dark Horse, again, has come out with this guy. Check it out. It's called Campus Apocalypse. It's written by someone named Ming Ming, which is either a pen name or a first name. I'm not sure. Maybe they just like repetition. Who knows? Um, it is, you know, a full-on manga. It's not a novel or anything. It takes place on a campus and, you know, Nerve is a school campus. Uh, the angels take on like totally human form. There's no giant robots. They, all the Avas are essentially like handheld weapons. It's pretty awesome. If you're gonna, 
if you like NGE and want to read some cool stuff, you know, a good, a good series that's, you know, recently started again, I would suggest picking up this because it's fantastic, really. There's three more books that I haven't gone through yet. One had volume one come out a while ago, published by Vertical. It is the most adorable cat you have ever seen. Look at it. How can you say boo to this kitty? If you're a dog person, then you know, I can't help you. But if you're a cat person, this is the most adorable kitten on the planet. And what's really nice also, you just saw the entire book is full color which makes it well worth the $13.95. Uh, it's got fantastic watercolors in there, and it's just a really cute story about, you know, a little, a little sweet kitten who got lost, found a new home in a home that's not supposed to have kitties. So, if you like this, I highly suggest this too. Now, for you Yowie fans, there's these last two books, which I have for you, which, you know, it's been, feels like it's been a while since we've gotten a Yowie release, so it's, it's good to see you know, some broader strokes coming out. Pun intended. Uh, we've got Junjo Romantica number 12. We've currently, you know, we've got all the other ones over in our, you know, fairly large yaoi section. So if you've been, you know, waiting on this guy, he's finally out again. And then we've also got a new, like, continuation sort of thing for Gakuken Heaven. This one's called Endo Calling You. It's, you know, it's also published by, by Blue. So, back cover, look at that nice picture. Yeah, you like it. So, there's your two yaoi's for the week, which is really nice to see since it has been quite a while. Before I go, i got a couple other things that I want to talk to you about, which aren't necessarily for reading. Some are for wearing. I've got my, my Yoko Barrette on, because we had a giant restock of um, really awesome and main manga merchandise. We've had um, a couple of new things come in that we've never had before. We've got keychains from like Vampire Night and some new Soul Eater ones that we've never had before, which is really nice. We've also got Blair's Witch Hat. No joke, it's pretty awesome. And it's a bunch of new like messenger bags and all kinds of cool patches and stuff and magnets. And if you wanna deck out your room yourself, or your bag with some new stuff, we have got it for you. Really, we do. And my final note before I leave is that there's a new group of guys call themselves the Soho Host Club. They're pretty awesome and fantastic. They're very gentlemanly. They started at the Annie Mini Con, which was a few, was the Otakon weekend. Still successful regardless of the fact that you know, Otakon steals most anime fans that weekend. But uh, they debuted there. They like to call themselves um, the a unique group of gentlemen who f are fans of anime and manga, but you know, also just Japanese culture in general. They are refined, chivalrous, and courteous, which is, you know, kind of hard to find nowadays a gentleman. It seems like the gentlemen are really hard to uh, to point out in a crowd, which is it's a shame that it seems to be a dying breed of dudes. Well, you know, they they host different events and things like that. They host the Minicon, they've hosted several other ones, and um, their their main motto is that they, they just love to see their guests smile. And they are the only uh, gentleman host club, which is not like not maid cafes, not butler cafes, no, they, they're hosts, which, you know, Overhand host, uh, High School Host Club is kind of an example, but they, they are not characters. They, they, they highly want to emphasize, I would say, that they are like this 24-7, which is, which is pretty amazing. They've got two events that, they're, that they've got upcoming that they uh, would love to see you at. One is a Victorian romance tea, which encourages you to dress in the Victorian style, being fancy and having tea and enjoying some conversation with them. That's at the Soho Digital Art Gallery, which is where the Annie Minicon was debuted. You can find more information about that on their Facebook page. 
uh, which is, you know, just Soho Host Club. Uh, we'll put a link up for it. And then they're going to also appear at the New York Anime Fest uh, on Friday, which is, you know, October 8th at 9 a.m. until whenever they magically disappear into the land of which they came. And then Sunday, October 10th, which is the last day, they'll be around at 7. So if you just want to meet them casually, go to New York Anime Fest. We're selling the tickets here, so, you know, if you were wondering where to pick your tickets up, you can come on over to Forbidden Planet. We've got tons for you. It'll, it'll get you into both shows, Comic-Con and Anime Fest, um, since it's all one gigantic nerd fest. Awesome, geeky time going on uh, this this year in October. So that's all the, that's all the time I got for now, guys. So see you later.